hello and welcome back guys so now that we are able to add our own widget to the process a widget is not so useful if you can only add static text it's more useful if you can add some dynamic text of course so let's say maybe for example i want to read a specific type of post right so i want to get a very specific type of post and add it here let's say maybe it's the most viewed posts or maybe if you have a download button you want to know the most downloaded posts and you want to put them as a list here in the widget that way you can have a most downloaded widget so that is all easy to do uh, let's see how that can be done so the most important thing to remember is how to read from the database then you can put your content anywhere you want now let me go back to my index page here for a second and there's this part where we add a uh, let's see the loop here right so there's this loop which is if have posts and then while posts the post and then you show your content okay now what i want to show is i want to create a post version of the sidebar uh, this is a post for the front page here but there should be a different kind of post for the sidebar which will contain less information than this because if i put these here they are too big okay now <clears throat> in order to read information uh, from the database we need to create our own loop now this one where we just say have posts is the main loop so this is automatic this loop is created automatically depending on what's in the url so if i click on this one just because there's that content up there it's going to be used to read uh, from the database to create that query which then is going to create this loop here so if there's nothing in the um, query string here it's going to know to just read all recent posts and then this is created here now we want we need to be able to create our own loop okay goody now to create our own loop uh, let me come here for a second and let's see if we can read a very particular post from um, let's go to hmm, how do we do this i don't want to touch the widgets yet to make things a bit more confusing so let me just go to sample page by the way i didn't show you how to make specific templates for specific pages we're going to cover that if i forget somebody should remind me in the comments if we get to the end of the series without me mentioning it but let's say for example we are on sample page here and i want to have a loop down here so what i will do is if i copy uh, this part right here let me just copy all of this copy now we're just going to use the page.php as an example here so as you can see in page.php i just put the title the content and then uh, that's it because there are no posts on this page if i happen to add a loop down here the post loop down here like this okay if i refresh uh, oh actually there is content in the loop here hmm. okay so this was the wrong place to show an example what i want to do instead is what do i do let me go to the index page just repeat the loop down here so let's go to just before the pagination let's repeat the loop down here okay it's probably the wrong example but hopefully to illustrate the point 
So we have a second uh, loop here happening, but it's the same loop as this one. So no surprise there. But what if I want to read different information on the second one? So there's a link to a website here. So let me just copy this link, which explains in detail what you can do with the WordPress query. So the link is right here, just in case you don't find it in the description. This is the link right here. So you can copy it and check it out. It's well documented. You can see all the possibilities that you can do down here. But let me give you the summary here. So what you do is what we are looking for is a function called WordPress query. So right here in the PHP tags, what I will do on the second query here, I'll just say uh, my posts. Now this is just a variable, so you can name it anything you want is equal to WP underscore query. Okay, so let's see what query can do. If I go here and let's go to the references back here and let's go to, let me get to developer.wordpress.org. I want to go to the code reference right here. That way we can study this and type in WP query and search. There it is. So click search. Let's see what params it takes in. So click. Actually, this is uh, this is the wrong thing I did. But however, how to use the standard loop is right here. It shows us what we should do. Now, uh, let me explain this a little bit. So there's the query which they've used. For us, we've used my posts. Is equal to new query, and then we put some arguments in here. Now these args can be very complicated. So those are the arguments it's going to use to read from the database. What parameters are you looking for? This is what this page explains, that link I have given you. So it explains all the possible arguments you can add in there and they're quite a lot. Now, if you remember very well, if I go back to, uh, uh, what's this? The search bar here, the way we designed our search bar, if I can come back to nav, I need to show this, nav.php. In the form here, what we did was we named the input as S. Okay, so we named it S. And then whatever value we type there is contained in the S parameter here. Now, in exactly the same way, if I want to retrieve, let's say, posts that contain the word hello in them, I will use exactly that. So let me go to, uh, where is this index.php? Right here in the argument section, I'm going to create an array. So the arguments is just an array of params. So maybe I can just say args is equal to, and just put a S like this. And then I will put the word hello like that. Okay, so I've simply created an array where s is equal to hello, and let me put that args in here. So immediately to know that I want to search for the word hello in posts. Okay, so my posts. Now keep in mind that pages, posts, and everything in WordPress is actually a, considered a post. So you can be very specific with what you want, maybe the type uh, you can mention that, for example, if we go here, um, there's one that is a post type, is it? Let me go to, where is this, widgets? No, here. This should have what I want. Um, I'm looking for where the arguments are. Uh, query object. I wanted to show. Yeah, there we go. So you see, there's an array here. There's author is equal to, 
uh, you can have category in uh, I'm looking for post type so actually you get quite an amount of information here as well which is good so this is the one I'm looking for post type is equal to post so just to be sure that I'm not reading pages as well so I can add that here by just putting a comma and adding it there post type post so in order to see these better you can move them to separate lines like so and do that okay something like this yes so put a comma there as well in case you want to add more so post type post s hello so this s is for searching so i want to search anything that has hello in the text but the post type as well should be post so it's going to do if this is true and this is true then it's going to return that so once that is returned now each one of these functions needs to have my posts at the beginning so i need to do this that and then paste like so and then point like this so my posts have posts because otherwise if you don't put this pre uh, prefix here it's going to think you are using this here the main loop so you have to tell it that the you're talking about the one you've just queried here and have posts uh have posts there the post and then let's use the same post content there and then lastly an important thing to add is let's come back up here to the original uh yeah this one wordpress research reset data so copy that now this one is used if you notice it's on the after the if statement okay so after this if statement right there we'll add wordpress reset post data now the reason you would do this is because in case you wanted to let's say this came first before the main loop this would disturb the main loop somehow so to avoid such issues just reset it there okay so back to this let's go back to my blog so here i only expect to see posts with hello in them so let's refresh and finally we get an error so call to undefined function wp query so what did we do wrong let me come back here and let's see what they are doing so the query is equal to yeah so the reason it didn't work is because i didn't put new here so if i just type it like this it means i'm looking for a function but if i say new it means i'm instantiating a class so since wp query is a class i must put new over there okay so back here and let's try it again refresh and there we go so you see now i get a post that only has hello in there now i may want to use instead of um the post name let's try with something with new in there so in the arguments let's try to search for something with new okay good let's refresh and you see now I get that so in the same way I can look for a post with the highest um, let's say the highest uh, view count okay etc etc so all that information is given here how you can search for all of this now in case you can't find this link for some reason the same place where there's WP query does have good amount of information on the parameters you can add in here okay that you can use this category category name and so on and so forth so just explore test it out because you really can't destroy your computer while testing this stuff so just do all kinds of tests you can see to see what each parameter will bring you back once you add it there so let's see here tags there's uh, the slug maybe you want a particular slug in there 
uh, field string, all that, you see. So tax query, this is uh, the field slug term Bob. So all these are ways in which you can explore all this. So before we can read the highest viewed post, we need to be able to record the highest viewed post first, right? So let's see how we can do that, record that, and then eventually we can read from it through the widget here. So for now, what I will do is delete this last part here. Since we already have an idea of how we can do that now, I'll remove that because it's messing up our, our theme. Yes. And let me also remove some widgets from down here. Uh, let me delete, uh, remove block, same thing here, remove block. Uh, we'll leave the other stuff. This is okay, I think, since we already have this on the other one. Let me remove this block. Let's update. We'll leave this one because we're using it for testing. So like I refresh, I get less data here. Okay, so that is all good. So first of all, we want to create something where if I read this post, it should indicate that this is one view. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.